and today I'll be doing my recent haul and also my recent favorites so I've been traveling for a bit recently also I went to Hokkaido and Hong Kong but unfortunately I didn't really buy a lot of things when I was there but yeah I did some digging and I think I have quite a few items here which is why I decided to combine some of my recent favorites in this video okay so let's start off with the things I got recently so recently the things I got are really the things that I really really need first off is my iPhone 15 Pro so this one, my parents got it for my birthday. It is a clear upgrade from my previous phone because I was using iPhone 12 Pro. I'm very late to the game but I finally have my cinematic camera mode. <laughs> I have a new button here. <laughs> and recently, I also went to Ocean Park in Hong Kong and I got this stickers. So it's perfect with my new clear phone case. Neat! Number one. My need number two is this. My new laptop. So I finally decided to go get a new laptop because my old laptop is not holding up well with all my editing. It's so sad that I can only edit one video at a time. So I decided to upgrade my laptop to this. The 14 inch MacBook Pro. M2 Pro. <laughs> this is the first time my haul video is like so gadget. Oh yeah, da -da, new laptop, new videos, you know. <laughs> Previous laptop that I had was the 13 inch and it has like this touchpad over here. But I decided since I need a better laptop when it comes to editing, I got the 14 inch one instead. And honestly, it is so fast. Like the way it actually renders my video is so much faster. I was really in need of a new laptop, but I didn't go and change it because my old laptop is not that old. It has been like only two or three years max. Anyway, ta -da! also my laptop case is this like puffy one I got from Shopee. <laughs> I'll leave the link below if you guys want to get anything that I got from this video. So poofy and it feels like it protects my laptop well. We have two more gadget things. <laughs> so I also got myself a SanDisk SSD. So this is like a very portable mini SSD. It helps to really boost my memory space in my laptop. So that means I can edit more videos. <laughs> Another uh, new thing I got is my GoPro. So this is the GoPro 11 Black. And I am so surprised because the last GoPro I have is like probably from 8-9 years ago. So the quality difference is so big. Like this is so extra HD. <laughs> the difference is so big. But yeah, that means I can do more action stuff for you guys. I got this as my birthday present from my boyfriend. My recent haul is like so productive because it's an upgrade for... <laughs> my work stuff. Okay, so from Hong Kong, I only bought one item <laughs> and it's this Brandy Melville skirt. So this is like super internet famous skirt and I got it from the original place itself of Brandy Melville. It comes in one size. I honestly haven't tried it on yet but I think it's gonna fit cause it's drawstring. The quality is really nice as well and uh, yeah, this is the only thing I got in Hong Kong. <laughs> Okay, since we are talking about clothes, I also got this recently for my birthday party. It's the Jacquemus cardigan. I love the colour. I think it's very like, it makes me look much brighter. I got the long one. There is like this super cropped version but I got the long one because it's more like user friendly. <laughs> I only managed to wear it once for my birthday party. I haven't get to wear it a second time so I'm just thinking maybe I should wear it later. <laughs> okay, another purchase I've gotten recently. YSL shades. So this one is kind of like cat eye a little bit. It's supposed to be much smaller than this. I got this online so... <sighs> Either way, I think it looks quite nice. It makes my face proportionately smaller. I also love the details, small mini YSL logo. Not too in your face. Okay, moving on to Hokkaido. I actually got some stuff in Hokkaido but mostly they are like food items as always. They are mostly snacks. So. I went to Rishiri Island, so it's an island that's famous for Kung Fu and I got a lot of Kung Fu too. I haven't even opened it yet, but this is good for soup. <laughs> this whole video is getting a bit funny. And since we are in Hokkaido, I had to get some soup curry. You know, Hokkaido is very famous for their soup curry. This is the vegetarian one and this is the chicken leg soup curry. Next food item is this tan tan mian noodle. So this is one of my favorite things to get in Japan because it's very expensive in Singapore. <laughs> Specifically this um, tan tan flavor because it is so good and it's just like perfect size for when 
you're not very hungry but you just want something salty so my sister and I we are both super obsessed with this so I always stock up a lot on this so I have some beauty products I got in Japan as well basically when I was in Japan I shattered my favorite compact powder which was discontinued <laughs> it's the body shop one so I have to get another compact powder I got this one from Muji the this powder thing is from my own <laughs> collection so it comes like that and so far so good I actually like it there's actually SPF inside SPF 50 PA++++ some more but I would say it's a low coverage my favorite part powder puff that I have at home actually fits perfectly into this thing <laughs> that is such a Okay, another thing I got is the Uzu Eye Opening Liner. You know, it's my favorite, favorite eyeliner. I love it so much. I feel like the hexagon shape, right, really helps when it comes to gripping and drawing. I already have all these three from my previous trips to Japan. So the most recent shade I've got is this. I'm not wrong, it's like kind of beige brown. I'm gonna draw it on. So this is the one, a brown black one. And this one is grey, so it's like grey beige, like very translucent. And last one is another brown. So this one is this. Honestly, I don't see the difference with these two. <laughs> Slightly more reddish. This is one of my favourite eyeliner. If you're in Japan, you have to get this in all different shades. You know my this current trip to Hokkaido, I didn't really have much time to shop around too much but I went to a lot of 7-Elevens, a lot of companies. In one of the 7-Elevens, I found this Romaine Glassy Bump and I got it because it is so mini. Initially, I didn't really want to get it because Romaine is a Korean brand. Although it's made in Korea, it's like filled with Japanese words so I was thinking maybe it is exclusive in Japan. And after some research online, I think it is exclusive to Japan and this is in the RD01 Chili Way it's like a balmy shade and I love it because it's very moisturizing this is one of my favorites now I always bring it out I really regret not buying more <laughs> apparently after coming back I saw online that everybody's been saying this is like sold out in a lot of places and I didn't know there are also a lot of other mini versions like eyeshadow and stuff if I'm not wrong so hopefully I gotta get more right, so another item I got is this can make lampuku coordinate eyes I got it in 01 but afterwards I found online that I think the more popular one is 02 they only have two different shades the one that's popular is the pinkish one very tiny which is why I got it because I love all my miniature stuff that I can travel with but this is actually made specifically for your egyo sal like this mini eye bags underneath your eye this one is like the shadow and then these are the highlight and sparkle I feel like it's a very creative um, eyeshadow palette I think when you first apply wow, it's really nice but unfortunately right it's not very long lasting so okay so the next one I have is the Cladipole lip balm so this is a tinted lip balm like coral shade but I feel like the color is not very very intense which I also like and I have been sharing this lip balm in some of my older videos but in Singapore right it is like pretty overpriced I think it's selling at like 60 or 70 bucks and I didn't think of repurchasing it because it was like a little bit pricey for the lip balm and recently I went to Japan and at the airport I found it for like less than $40 if I'm not wrong it was a lot more affordable like 50% off or something and I'm very happy it's finally back in my life because I really enjoy using this lip balm it glides on very well and it's just very fast free one of my favorite tinted lip balms I've tried so another favorite item that I stock up in Hokkaido as well Fino Premium Touch hair mask this one is selling in Singapore as well but it is of course much cheaper in Japan I think it's like seven dollars in Japan this is one of the best hair masks I've used I'm not even kidding the scent is good it smells really really nice it works so well my hair is extremely damaged like nothing can help my hair you know I use this on alternate days if you haven't tried this before right please please do I missed this out just now but I also got this from Muji and I really like this as well this is like a lipstick from Muji. You know, when I first look at it, right, it doesn't look very good and it looks a bit dry. But turns out it is actually super balmy. Like it's it glides on really well. The shade is really nice. Quite sheer. So it's kind of like the lip balm effect again. But it's so glossy and nice on the lips. I am really really surprised. This shade I got is pink beige. I saw that there's other shade like rose brown or something, but it was sold out. <laughs> So the only one available was this pink beige. It's a very MLBB like natural shade. Okay, next up we have another hair product but I didn't buy this so Aromatica sent it to me and I have to add this in my favorites because this smells so good. This is the Quinoa Protein Hair Ampoule. It's like a spray on type. 
It smells like spa. It's so nice. And what I like is that you can just spray it on, right? So I always spray this on before bed when I don't want to dirty my hands and brush my hair through. A very recent favorite. But the downside is because my hair is so dry, right? I always use a lot of it. Which is why I am like, I don't know if you can see, one third gone, pretty much. And it's only very recently that I started using this so I guess it's gonna run out pretty quick for me which is a downside cause it's not say very 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 cheap but a favorite of mine so please try okay so the last two items are presents that I received recently and I fell in love with so my sister got me this GHD hair straightener Ta -da! it's like a mini version GHD unplugged so I can travel with this but don't take my words for it because I think some countries don't really accept cordless hair straightener since there is like batteries inside but I did travel to Hong Kong with this and nothing happened I really like how portable this is because I hate bringing like bulky hair straightener with cords but the downside is of course it is not very hot that's why you need to go through a lot of times before you can really straighten your hair it charges with type c so it's super convenient nice present from my little sister thank you so much so another one is another favorite this is from rachel actually it's my birthday present too she got me this dior earrings and why it's in here as a favorite is because i've been wearing this super often like surprisingly i've been going for this like every single outfit seems to match this to be honest i thought it's gonna be like good for like classy you know like white dress kind of outfit but turns out it's super versatile like i can match it with a lot of outfits and it has quickly become one of my most worn earrings these days according to my girl math this is a really good purchase Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's not too boring this time round. Yeah, I will try to make another one when I have more like interesting things to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video as always and I hope you like it. I'll see all of you really really soon.